Okay, well, now we are going to solve the problem that you see on the board here. It is given that here, we have been given that a b c plus 1 equals to 0 or you can write that a b c is equals to minus 1. You can also say that uh, you can also say that a b equals to minus 1 by c which is equals to minus c inverse this is equal to minus c inverse because uh, we can copy this minus as it is and 1 by c is c inverse in the similar way I just wrote here a b now I can take here b c if b c is equals to minus 1 by a which is equals to minus a inverse minus being same and 1 by a is a to the power minus 1 which we generally call as a inverse now I got I can write here a c and this will ultimately be equal to minus b inverse okay this is the first step that I have done here now I can start my problem with the left hand side here I go with the left hand side this is the LHS I have 1 1 minus a I can see that minus b inverse here is also minus b inverse here is also minus b inverse so minus b inverse in place of this minus b inverse I can idea plus ac remember what did I do here here is minus b inverse so in place of this minus b inverse I wrote here plus ac now if you do the same on the other two terms you will also get minus one, a, 1 minus b you have minus c inverse minus c inverse is ab plus ab do the same thing on the other side you have 1 minus c and you have got that minus a inverse is plus bc plus bc okay this is what we get here now commonly okay there are several ways for solving this problem but uh, the easy way that I feel is I can change all the three terms for one I change all the three terms now I'm going to change two terms two terms out of these three terms so I'm going to uh, do something I'm going to operate with two of the terms here here you have AC I don't see B here so I am thinking to multiply numerator by B and also denominator by B I'm thinking to multiply numerator by b and also the denominator by b. So here I do this. Now uh, following the same thing here, you have a b here. So you don't see c here in the denominator. So I'm multiplying numerator by c and also the denominator by c. Okay, I will keep the thought from the same as it is. Okay, this is the first. Uh, in the first step I modified uh, I operated three of the terms in the second step I am operating two terms so let me operate this now now b1 is b b into a gives us ab and b into ac gives us abc and abc is equals to minus 1 so I can write here minus 1 here one more time b1 is b b into a is ab b into ac gives us abc and abc is equals to minus 1 do same thing here Okay, now same thing here. C1 is C. C into B gives us BC. C into AB gives us ABC and ABC is equals to 1. C into AB gives us ABC and ABC is equals to 1. ABC is equals to, sorry, minus 1. C into AB gives us ABC and ABC is equals to minus 1. So I can write here minus 1. I am doing nothing with the thought term. Now let, I can compare the denominator. Here you have plus C. Here you have the minus C. You have, you have minus bc here you have plus bc here you have minus one here you have plus one all the signs are different to each other all the signs are different to each other so in order to make the same sign i have two options one option is to change the sign of this plus if i change this plus into minus i can change all the denominator sign or i can do the same thing on the other side okay now here i have a b I change all the three terms, I change two terms and I am changing one of the terms. I am changing this term because I can see the denominators are same except the sign. So here you have AB, I am multiplying numerator by BC, sorry I am multiplying the numerator by C. I also have to multiply the denominator by C, B minus AB minus 1. Okay, here I have C. See if I this plus into minus, I can write here minus C and then I will have here plus C will be minus BC can be written as plus BC 
plus c can be done as minus c minus 1 can be done as plus 1 why did i or how did it happen is i change this sign here in this way here plus it changes into minus okay now that this term will be copied same okay now these facts are not needed further um, so now I let's let me multiply bc is bc now when i multiply c with b i get here bc when i multiply c with minus abc i get here minus abc if i multiply c with minus ab i get here minus abc and minus abc is okay let me write here minus abc and c is minus one is minus c uh, and this kilometer are same now bc plus bc minus c minus c plus one plus one how did I do so? I change this plus into minus. This ultimately changed the sign of all the denominators here. So let me copy this as it is for now. Let me erase the term. I can write here BC minus C plus 1. Now here. Uh, okay, it's only one more step. Uh, so I can do this in this way. So BC is BC. Here, uh, minus ABC is here. Here you have ABC equals to minus 1. ABC equals to minus 1. If I multiply both sides by minus, I am multiplying both sides by minus. So this gives us minus ABC equals to minus minus is plus 1. So in place of this minus ABC, I can write here plus 1. Minus C same. And these other terms will also be same. BC minus C plus 1. Plus 1 by BC minus C plus 1. Okay, now I, let me come here. Now, if I check all the denominators there, all the denominators are same here. BC minus C plus 1, BC minus C plus 1, and on the third term also BC minus C plus 1. So, the LCM is also BC minus C plus 1. The denominator and the LCM is same, numerator is also same. The denominator and the LCM is same, the numerator is also same. And same thing here as well. So, now they have same terms here, numerator and denominator are same, so the answer is 1. And this is what we have been told to prove. So we finish our answer here. I hope that you all are very clear regarding the solution.